How many of you guys do your long division with this big line that goes down the side like this? Raise your hand if you're one of the people that likes that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of you. Okay. That's, you guys have a disadvantage in doing what we're doing now because uh, this way doesn't work for the long division of polynomials. So, but I want everybody to understand what this is since only like, you know, one third of my class knows what this is. Okay, this is long division too. Um, somebody that does this way, how could I start if I was going to do this way, this method? Yes. Okay. So if I put 10 over here on the side, then I go 10 times 7 is 70. Then what do I do? Subtract it. Okay. So I take the 217 minus the 70. Well, I can just change the sign. It's got that in common at least. 7 minus the 0 is 7. And then basically it's, uh, I have to carry and make this a 1 and 11 and 4, 147. I think I did that right, didn't I? Okay. Somebody else who's good at this method, what could I do next? Yes. Okay, so I'd put a 21 right here. Okay, do you know 21 times 7 is 147? Just have that like memorized or something? <laughs> then you are different than the average kid because most people don't know that 21 times 7 is 147. But what is something that I could have seen more easily that went into it? Maybe 20, okay, because 20 times 7 makes 140, right? And then I can subtract them, and I get 7. And now i got to just see, oh, 7, that goes in there once. So I go 1 times 7, 7, it's still kind of related to this method. And 7 minus 7 gives me 0, I'm done, and my answer is all these guys added up. 20 plus 10 plus 1 makes 31. So the answer is 31, okay? Now... That looks totally different, though, than doing 7 goes into 217 or 217 divided by 7, the traditional way, which is what we're basing this whole uh, long division of polynomials on. Everybody on your scratch paper, I want you to do this way with me. It's the same exact problem. I already know the answer is 31, but go 3 is 21. Change the sign. Subtract them. Bring down the 7. 7 goes into 7 once. 7, change the sign. Subtract them. Got nothing left. That means it worked. And that times that makes that. Okay. So that's what we're basing our long division of polynomials on. Okay. Just a quick uh, digression. Let's look back at, I have to say that question for a minute, um, at these polynomials. Um, if this is a root of 3, what's the factor for it? It's different than the root. What's the factor for it? That has the parentheses. Come on, what is it? It's not hard. It's it. X minus 3. Which of those two did we see when we were doing long division? Would, did we do the X minus 3 or did we do the 3? If I was going to set up long division and say this right here is underneath the, the bar, 2x to the third minus 14x minus 12, like that, which was I putting out here? Was I putting a 3 out here, or was I putting an x minus 3 out here? x minus 3. I'm just trying to show you these problems in a new way. Here's a graph, and it looks like this root is at 3, but that means the factor wouldn't be 3, it would be x minus 3. You see what I'm saying? That's how we set these up from a picture. All right. If I wanted to check this one, that's at negative 1, right? What would I put on the outside of the big long square root? x plus 1. And check it that way. All right. Next. Let's just do a review of what we did yesterday. Is there anybody that was absent yesterday? Excellent. Okay. So then, this should be something you can handle. Try this. Long division, just like last night's homework. Show the work. I'll pause while you do that. So what am I supposed to do now? Yes. 
make the signs opposite. Change the signs. And then this cancels, and this makes negative 10x. And i got to bring something else down to keep the problem moving. Okay. Then, look, what do I put here so that I can multiply it and get negative 10x? Negative 10. So negative 10 times x makes negative 10x. Negative 10 times the 1 makes negative 10. Change the signs. It all cancels out. That cancels and that cancels. I get 0. It worked. This is a factor and this is a factor and it equals that when you multiply them. Raise your hand if you had that right. Okay, good. Then you get the basic ones. Now, this is one. You know what? This is just another basic one. We don't need the extra practice. I can tell you guys are handling it well. This one looks a lot like the last one, except there's one little difference. See how the problem is worded different? What's different about it? Yes. It's an x equals negative 2 instead of something in parentheses. You're right. So what could I put if I wanted to do this the same way as before? What could I put on the outside? Yes. x plus 2 because this is the root. And what's this called again? The factor. Okay. Now i got to see if this actually works. Check it quick. should be getting to be second nature to do these things. Check and see if it's a root quick with long division. Did you get x plus 3? So what's the answer to the question? Is it a factor or not? Yes, it is. Okay? Raise your hand if you had that one right. Okay, good. Next. Sometimes when you're doing long division, you end up with weird situations in the middle. And that's what's going to happen today on the polynomial side. So I want to, again, start with the easier problem. What happens when you do this with just whole numbers? Well, 7 goes into 49. 7 times makes 49. And I get 0. And then I bring down the next number and... What do you do when that happens? You bring down the next number and it's zero. Well, what you're really asking is, how many times does 7 go into 0, 0? It goes into 0, zero times. And then I can bring down another number and ask, how many times does 7 go into 0, 0, 7? It goes in there one time. And now I have something to multiply. 1 times 7 makes 7. Change to the opposite, draw the line, get zero, and I'm done. Remember that? So sometimes you have a weird situation crop up. Try the other one. Two going into 200, no, 20,045. Okay, so we're going to go four times, makes 20, subtract it, you get zero, bring down a zero, and I can't do anything, so I put a zero up there. Five goes into zero, zero times. Then I bring down a 4. How, does 5 go into 0, 0, 4? No, 0 times. How many times, then I bring another thing down. How many times does 5 go into 45? 9 times, and that's 45. And I have 0 left, which means no remainder, which means, yes, 5 goes into it. And 5 times 4,009 gives me 20,045. All right.